All right, back to the Snapchat videos. Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet. Welcome back to another video today on the channel. Now, as the title of this video suggests, we're gonna be taking a look at another Snapchat update, but more specifically, how to use the sky filters within Snapchat. I found this out by swiping through one day and was like, whoa, what are those? I need to figure out how to use them, and I have, so we're gonna teach you today as well. And also, we have two new Snapchat trophies that are still mysterious and not really sure what they are. So if you do find them and you figure out how to use them, leave it down in the comment section below or send me a tweet over on Twitter at Aaron FPS so we can take a look at those. All right, guys, so moving over to the phone section of today's video, if you haven't already added me on Snapchat, I highly recommend that you do so by clicking this either uh, bitmoji right here, taking a screenshot picture, whatever it may be, to follow along on the Snapchat adventure over there. So just jumping right into this, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab some pictures from my camera roll because it doesn't really work with the selfie mode with the secret, or not the secret filters, but the sky filters. So let me just give you an example. If I take a selfie, and I swipe over. Usually the next filter over is going to be that sky filter, but obviously I don't really have a sky in here. Uh, if you have a sky behind you in the selfie, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, so you have to kind of experiment with that one. So I'm gonna go actually go over to my camera roll memories and I am going to go ahead and select this picture that I just downloaded from the internet. And as you can see, there's a pretty clear sky in this picture that's gonna work well with the sky filters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click edit down over here. And like I said, you don't have to go through all this editing process. All you have to do is take the picture of the sky or whatever the background that you want to. And when you swipe over to the right, it's gonna bring you to this new filter. So as you can see, it's changing in the background. It already, it keeps the clouds and everything back there. All it does is it added some clouds, it adds some like color correction, and then it changes the colors of a couple things. What I'm gonna do now is actually I can go back and if I go into it and if I keep taking the same picture of the same environment, I can swipe over and it's going to give me, well this one looks like it's the same, um, but mostly, most of the time, it should give me a different filter every time I swipe over it. Whoops, so I'm gonna do it again here. I'm gonna click that swipe over, and as you can see, it gives me a little bit of a different effect when it comes to the sky filter. So one more time, I'm gonna show you another filter that we can use here. If we go into edit it, swipe over, we're gonna get kind of a darker feel. Now there's been a couple that I've seen where it adds like stars in the background and it's really, really cool. Even, even if it's not nighttime, it's gonna make it seem like nighttime with the whatever they use, whatever, uh, I guess, software they use within the app that allows it to change the background here. We're just gonna do one more time to see what we can experiment with. And this looks like it's the first one that we took of. So I'm gonna swipe over. I have another picture that's kind of similar um, in my camera roll. And I'm going to go ahead and click edit and I'm going to swipe over, and you can see that it kind of gives it that dark feel again. It changes, makes everything in the in the picture a little bit darker, and then adds the kind of dark sky, so it, it looks almost natural, right? Um, sometimes if the picture isn't that clear, it might not work that well, so you might just have to experiment with it, and as you can see, we get like the kind of nighttime, almost sunset -y look on that one, and we'll do it again just to see what happens. And there's the one that I was talking about. So this looks absolutely sick. Like, I don't know about you guys, but, it, I mean, the night sky, you take a picture of what it looks like during the day, and then it changes it to night by changing the, like making everything darker. It makes the water darker. I mean, look at it before. So before, after, before, after. Super sick. I know a lot of people were wondering how to do these sky filters. And just a couple things that you need to or remember, like I said at the beginning, is just make sure that it's a well lit picture and a well taken picture, because sometimes the, um, the Snapchat's not gonna be able to recognize that it is outside maybe, I don't know if maybe it's like a little bit too close, like the sky is too close color um, to like the, the rest of what's happening in the picture, then it might not work that well. Now that's pretty much the main thing that we saw in this new update, um, but if I go up to my trophies and I scroll down, we're gonna see a couple new ones. I already didn't have three of them. Um, I forgot exactly which ones they were. I knew one of them is um, take a picture of um, something or take a picture with the filter being over 100 degrees. It's never been at over 100 degrees where I currently live, so I haven't been able to do that. And there's two more that I haven't gotten. I think it's like posting to the live store and get it getting posted on there. But there's two more added down here that we need to figure out. So if you know what they are or if you have any idea of what they could be, please either leave it down in the comment section below or if you wanna send me a direct message over on Twitter, you can do that by going and following me on Twitter at AaronFPS and I'll be sure to reply to every single one of you that may know what it is. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy this video and it helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please don't forget to click that like button and also click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and wanna stay updated on all the videos here on Break the Internet. Anyway, guys, like all 
always, my name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for Snapchat tips, tricks, updates, and everything you need to know about Snapchat. Of course, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.